जाने वाला है एक ऐसा प्रलय जो बहुत वर्तमान और भविष्य को हमेशा के लिए बदल देगा एक ऐसा प्रलय जो अच्छाई और बुराई की जंग को हमेशा के लिए खत्म कर देगा there's a, there's a place a fisherman's village yes on, there is verli yes near near the base of the bridge that Correct. is where i shot the climax for my debut directorial oh really yeah so i shot there for almost 15 nights not days nights and the people they were so good to ye uh, mumbai ke slang koi aapko peculiar lagte hain jo most of the mumbai slang i know is rohit sharma on the stump mic so <laughs> <laughs> अभी आपका कार प्रोटेक्टेड है सी आई वॉज बॉर्न एंड बॉटअप इन द इन द साउथ इन हैदराबाद ओ रियली ओके I don't know any other way apart from saying Prithvi Garu. So Prithvi Garu, <laughs> welcome to the Bombay Journey, powered by Castrol Magnet. How are you? Very good, thank you so much. I've been hearing a lot of Garu off late because you know I've after the longest time I did a film outside of Malayalam, which was a Telugu film called Salar. Ah, yeah. correct. So, yeah. So now humble when plug. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I land in Hyderabad, I hear a lot of uh, Varadraja Mannar Garu and Prithvi Garu. So it's 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 quite nice to hear actually. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. But welcome to Mumbai and welcome to the Bombay Journey. We are on Juhu Thara Road right now. Yes. You can start off by talking about the first memory you have of this road. Of this road, ah. you know, I uh, oh, it's actually it's a good question to start off with. <laughs> so I was not someone who used to come to Bombay regularly. Okay. And uh, then I fell in love with <laughs> my now wife, then girlfriend. Yes. Who was working out of Bombay. Oh, was she? Yes. So when we were dating each other, both of us uh, landed on Shantaram, the book together. Ah. ah. So she uh, bought me a copy and said, "Let's read this together." and i sat in kerala and read the book and i was so infatuated with the bombay in shantaram Dude. that i told her listen i'm going to come to bombay i'd like you to take me around and show me all the places that gregory david roberts so beautifully describes in the book yes sir so i came and then we had these few days in bombay and i think we really fell in love so bombay so city is like a primary character in my love story same sir same <laughs> on this road only my love story oh, also see <laughs> see there must be something about bombay and falling in love that's so true that's so true but <laughs> Here's the thing. Shantaram also talks about the OG Mumbai, ah, which yeah. is which is the town side of things. Yes, I remember. I I, I went to uh, Leopold's Cafe, that you know uh, Haji Ali, that road, nah. and all that. So, and I was like quite quite struck with with the vibe of the city. And uh, now I spend a lot of time in Bombay. Yeah. yeah. So, what areas are yours? Where do you come? Ah, uh, so I I have a place here, with, but I I'm, I don't live there. Uh, so oh, I, I did not know this because we picked you up from a hotel. Yeah, so I don't live there. <laughs> ah, shit. Where is this? It's in a neighborhood called uh, Pali Hill. Oh, posh. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's a nice place. Yeah, <laughs> nice place. No, for sure, Bandra is the shit, bro. Yeah, but, nice. so yeah, so my wife used to live in Bandra, ah, so okay. that's where I used to come and uh, see her when she was not yet married to me. Mm. So I know Bandra the best, uh, but I also really like uh, South Bombay. Okay because I remember uh when I came to Bombay to have a day long discussion for a Malayalam film mm-hmm. with director Anjali Menon okay she lives in Bombay okay uh so we spent a whole day talking about the film and my character in in South Bombay so that's the first time I I stayed in the old Taj and then we she took me we walked all around there's lovely art galleries and all that yes, really that's cool part of the city yeah segment. very yeah. nice place very yeah. nice place no you you are one of the first Malayalam stars to star on the Bombay journey So oh. it is an honor for us to have no, you. No, the honor is all mine. Yeah. The thing about it is that I'm not saying this because I'm here with you, but I I see your show. Oh, super! I, I really like how you do this. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you so much. It is just exactly what we're doing right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those one of those interviews where everyone just at some point slips into being themselves and are very yeah. candid, which is just lovely to watch. Correct. आपका मैं जब जितना जानता था, I knew producer हो, production company एक रही, फिर एक और भी आई. Yeah. I know sing भी कर रहे हैं आप कुछ अभी. चार साल हो गए ना। I first sang for a film in 2008. Eight. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. 16 double. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why do I remember the 16 one better? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I first sang for a film in 2008 when we couldn't afford money to pay a singer. <laughs> oh shit! ऐसे चालू ही थी कहानी। Singer के पास पैसे नहीं हैं वाव। Singer के लिए भैया मेरी आवाज़ ठीक है। Correct. तो चलेगा। Not bad, not bad. तो restaurant ये roles हो ना? 
No, no, no. That was my mom. Oh, that's she your mother. She used to run a chain of restaurants in Doha, in Qatar. Ah. But uh, it started off like a hobby, and then it just became like an all-encompassing thing. So then it became too much for her to handle. So she sold her Achha. entire equity in the business, and now she is back home chilling, which which is what she should be doing. <laughs> oh, super, super. Yeah. But your brothers and sister, and like, there's a whole lot of family acting. Yeah, so I have one brother yeah. who is also an actor. Correct. Uh, my dad, who unfortunately is no longer with us, yes. uh, was an actor. My mother is an actor. My sister-in-law is an actor. The only Widow. black sheep, as my wife would like to call herself, yeah. is my wife, who is a journalist. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so you you all must have had these dinner conversations or these dining table conversations, which were about acting and work and cinema. <laughs> Not at all. You know, sab, artist parivar wale log aise kyun bolte hain? Yeah, because I'll tell you why. Once you are into this business, ah. and if you're successful, <laughs> you know, you tend to get very little time with family. Yeah. And in those little time, that little phases of time that you get with your family, cinema is not the most interesting thing you have to talk about. That's true. Yeah. So we seldom talk about cinema. Uh, I mean, it's it's just once in a while that all of us get together. And when we do, there's so much catching up to do on the personal front. Yeah. That cinema is doesn't feature in the conversation at all. Yeah. I mean, we probably sort of yeah. What are you shooting for right now? Oh, that. Yeah. This is what I'm doing. Stuff like that. <laughs> Other than that, no. Oh shit. Yeah. What is this like to be exchanging so much like with uh, Akshay Kumar? You're going to be having the whole thing in uh, Bade Mia, Chote Mia. Yeah. I mean, it's it's strange because I've 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 not done Hindi cinema for for a long long time. That's true. Uh, I've heard, I've I've had offers, I've read scripts, but for some reason I didn't find something that really excited me enough to take time away from Malayalam cinema and come and do something here, hmm. or it would be something else like my dates or issues or something. Finally, when I managed to get into Hindi cinema, it's like I ended up doing two films together. Yeah, like they were being shot literally together. I was, you know, like uh, hopping between the two sets. Literally, You've done that a lot, right? Nah? Uh, like, I, mean, I mean, quite literally. Like, one would be shooting at Film City here, and the other would be at Yashraj, and I would be like <laughs> going. This, ye, ye film so, it's a Dharma film that they are yet to announce officially, ah. but it's very strange. It's a, it's the world's worst kept secret, I think. <laughs> oh, like that. That's the one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, but with Bade Mia Chote Mia, I mean, complete thanks to Ali because when he initially brought the film to me, I was in a position where I thought I wouldn't be able to do the film yeah. because I couldn't match my dates, and it's a very star cast heavy film, yeah. and it was impossible to sort of manage everyone's dates to accommodate me. But so then Ali changed a lot of things around, and, and thanks in no small part to Akshay sir, who actually was very kind to sort of change a few things around, that I was finally able to do it, and I'm so thankful because. I've had so much fun in that film. Yeah. I don't get offered the bad guy very often, you know. And uh, what are you saying? That one film that you offered, you got offered a hero role. You took the villain's part. Correct. See, which is why because I always think the bad guys have more fun. <laughs> 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 so, I and I really wanted to do it, and uh, it's that one film that I've had a lot of fun doing it. Okay. And uh, it's a really cool character, and I think the film is. Proper entertainer popcorn masala film. I love ah, the nah? film. Ah, yeah. I see. Lag raha hai wo trailer. I mean, I, I, I am assuming the trailer surprised a few people. Yeah. Uh, when you, when you, the initial impressions of a film called Bade Mia, Chote Mia. Yeah, it did, it did. Yeah. I was like, comedy kider hai. Ha, <laughs> no, it's got, uh, it's got really good organic comedy as well. I must say. Hmm. But I think the film is even bigger than the trailer, and oh. it's a proper entertainer. And uh, my character is something that uh, you know. I think any actor would would die to do. It's just uh, I've got all the cool bits. So. Yeah, there were there were stories about. आपके पास ज़्यादा लाइन है and then oh yeah, I two speak, people combined. So I I'm, as we speak after this, I'm, I have to go and finish my dubbing for बड़े मियाँ छोटे मियाँ. And I just realized I was telling my dubbing studio engineer yesterday that I don't think I've spoken so much in a Malayalam <laughs> film in a long time. <laughs> Like I just speak non-stop. I'm sorry if you guys do not like my voice because you're going no, to hear a, you're going to hear a boss. lot of it in Bade Mia Chote Mia. <laughs> My quite hate, hate quite like that's the whole point of a villain. Na, मुझे hate होनी चाहिए ना आपसे. और मुझे लग रहा है कि यार ये मुक्का मारूँ मैं इसको. जबकि मैंने आपको भी mask में देखा है. Yeah, then तो I think it will work. नहीं मैं mask में देखा ना भाई. तभी मैं I was like, bro, we've got a bane also of our country now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, you, you're right. You know, it is, it is very kind of. Uh, Bain, e. Joker sorts, but Haan. I think when you see the film and you see uh, the backstory of this guy, no. then you'll know that it's a it's a very humane arc. 
and uh, see that's a cool thing about franchise films but anyway chote mein is very much designed to be a franchise okay and the good thing about franchise films is that every installment of the franchise film the story is always a villains and the heroes just come and save the world so you could possibly have a prequel also is what you say yeah when you see the film you'll understand you mm. could so uh, i think the story the crux of the story of bade mein chote mein is kabir's Uh, but these two guys have really cool parts as well, and I think both of them have really killed it. Uh, yeah. They have done some serious action stuff in the. No, film. no, we're going to be talking to Ali sir also yeah. about yeah. his process. So more on that there. Because when Ali first narrated the film to me, I was expecting to be in a in a green screen studio <laughs> shooting the whole film. But this guy just pulled off everything in real. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, he's uh, that guy. Now scale well item. Ha! I mean, it's like pretty much everything you see in the film is for real. So Shit. and uh, and yeah, I mean it's just some crazy stuff that he pulled off. Yeah. So uh, we talk about this segment that we have called protection ke funde. So let's have that. Uh -huh. It's a it's a kind of rapid fire with you. Okay. ठीक है. When you're directing the stalwarts like Monlal sir, mm -hmm. how are you protecting the script? Because I'm sure they come with so much more of their experience and grit. Protecting the script, Monlal mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. You will not find another actor submitting himself so much. to the written word and the director's vision like mohan lal sir oh really he gives up you, man you won't believe this right i mean when we are on on the location and we are just cracking jokes and the shot is being set up he calls me money which is son mm. son the moment he walks to the other side of the camera the son switches to sir he oh, calls really? me sir and he is like of course he is experienced enough to know what shot is being taken if he sees a camera on a track he understands okay they are trying to move the camera like this but he'll still wait there and ask the director sir what am i supposed to do and he wants the director to go and tell him this is what i want you to do and that is what he will do <laughs> i mean he's in, i mean it's it's a huge learning curve for me as an actor yeah because i have realized what mohanlal sir gives me as an actor is what i should give my directors लेकिन मैंने सुना है ममूटी के बेटे डीक्यू जो हमारे शो पे भी आ चुके हैं और वो आप बहुत अच्छे मित्र बन चुके हो अब इन केरला एटलीस्ट वी लिव क्वाइट क्लोज टू ईच अदर एंड वी आर ऑल वेल नेपो किड्स नेपो किड्स नेपो किड्स नेपो किड्स या मेरे को नहीं समझ में आता देखिए और मैं आपसे सच्ची दिल खोल के बोलना चाहता हूं आज कि डेफिनेटली आउटसाइडर शुड बी एवरीबॉडी शुड बी अलाउड देन इक्वल टू बट समोसे वाले जो अच्छे बनाते हैं उनके बेटे भी समोसे बनाते हैं <laughs> आप लोग जाके वो चाट वाले के इधर नहीं बोलते ना ये नेपो चाट है मैं नहीं खाएगा <laughs> अरे नहीं आई मीन आई हैव टू नो सी आई आई कंप्लीटली अंडरस्टैंड एंड एक्सेप्ट द फैक्ट दैट सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट माइसेल्फ आई हैव हैड अ रीसी टू कम इनटू द इंडस्ट्री राइट आई गॉट माय फर्स्ट फिल्म ओनली बिकॉज़ ऑफ माय सरनेम या समवन थॉट आई वुड मेक अ गुड लीड एक्टर बिकॉज़ आई वाज सो एंड सो सन आई वाजंट इवन स्क्रीन टेस्टेड you know oh. i was i wasn't even screen tested so i owe my first film only to my surname nothing else but i owe only my first film to my surname because in cinema the thing is yeah. you could be anybody's son or daughter but you're being evaluated by the public so come that friday if you're not good enough you are not good enough that's it you can't be protected you know yeah you can't be protected with the board of directors correct you can't be protected by hiring high end skill and paying them a salary to do your work for you yes 100% you are out there to be judged by the public and you will have to face them so that is there about cinema but having said that i repeat yes i have had it easy to get into the industry and yeah. i am completely aware that people 1000 times more talented than me will be waiting outside for that one opportunity yeah i know that but great that aap log acknowledge karte ho wo baat achhi hai but yeah. point ye hai ki uh, dq bas aadmi hai <laughs> dq bade fan aadmi hai wo lekin unka gaadi ka shauk aur aapka gaadi ka shauk match karte hai kya are bilkul nahi wo to ek he is like a collector yeah. like, i think he's got like some 50 60 cars i mean his garage looks greater than some halls <laughs> yeah he's got a so yeah, he is he's a proper collector yeah. like he he finds joy in just owning the cars that's it yeah. rakhenge ha huh. i mean how, how can you drive 50 cars you can't right <laughs> so i i find joy in driving cars so i mean i i mean i have a few cars but yeah. for me it's not about collecting and keeping them in my garage for me it's about being able to use them and drive them i mean he also loves driving but i think he is a genuine collector yeah he'll he, be that guy who'll change the rim then he'll clean it also yeah i mean see once you have something like 50 cars Yeah. then you know that you're not going to be able to drive all of them yeah, yeah. for you then the joy is seeing them all you know crisp and clean, clean. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. but i mean like proper proper car guy yeah. 
but your your uh, your travel stories and a lot of social media chatter is not there so i don't know like if you're a traveler travel lover and like i love you go. traveling so if i have like two three days off even ah. uh, my wife and me we pack our bags and we leave okay uh, so uh, we love traveling and i've uh, what i've i've traveled to most parts of europe us nice uh, so asia is still to be explored Okay. So our uh, wedding anniversary is coming up. So something is on the list. Let's see. Mm, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Are you all into seafood? Then you'll like it. We yes. are from Cochin. Ah, so, so like, we, we live by seafood. Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> like it's just always a question to check with actors yeah. for. I mean, I'm like, अरे पता नहीं भाई कौन किधर जा रहा है समझ में नहीं आया. Yeah, I know. Uh, so that we we are looking to try and see if we can go somewhere in Asia because I think Asia is where we have yet to explore properly. Yeah. Nice. I love Vietnam. I love. Oh, uh, Vietnam we've been to. You've yeah. been to Vietnam. Yeah. 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 So you drive when you're there, and like what kind sedans or SUVs? What is your? Zone? Yeah, so I mean, whenever we travel, uh, we end up driving ourselves because yeah. I think driving, especially in in Europe, is a great bonding exercise because it's just five six hours on the road, and you're driving, and music is on, and just you know, you, usually sometimes we we do two trips a year without our daughter, so it's just my wife and me, <laughs> and it's just you know the two of you inside a car, and it's great bonding exercise. So usually whenever we travel, we do uh, rent our our own car and drive. Okay. Uh, last time when we uh, were in Switzerland, I we drove from Switzerland to France and and back and all. Oh, lovely drive! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what kinds of cars? Sedans or SUVs? There is no choice. Uh, so I mean, the thing is, these plans are always so last minute yeah. that seldom do you end up getting the cars that you want. Shit. And my wife is not a car person. Oh, she's not. Huh? Uh. So the one time I hired a sports car, it did not end up becoming a great experience for her. Mm. So right now, the thing is, when I'm going on a driving trip with my wife, get the most comfortable car. Right. It. So it's it's it'll usually end up being like a nice E class or a five series. So it's just comfortable fair on enough. the highway. Yeah, yeah. yeah fair enough. <laughs> then then there is space. Yeah, correct. And, and, space and, and so space. you have luggage and you. You know, put it in the back, and it's it's all fine. Yeah, that one true. sports car trip didn't augur well with her. So <laughs> <laughs> I can understand. Yeah, <laughs> but you're also with sports cars. You're you're worried about hitting the curb sometimes. That's how low they are sometimes. True, that is true. But then I mean, when you go on these rental things, you know, for all all people wanting to drive, when you go on a rental car driving trip, get the most comprehensive insurance available. Yes, like get that headache out of the place. You might think when you look at the rental lease, oh my God, hundred and seventy dollars for the insurance per day when the car is only like three hundred dollars per day. Get Doesn't it, matter. get yeah. it, and uh, and and just just forget uh, about you know all this because I mean that uh, when you drive through Europe and all that, you have to be thinking of uh, car theft and you know all kinds accidents of accidents and like you said, grazing the rims against uh, the sidewalks. That's what that. I ended up paying seven hundred AED. Exactly. Now. So so when something like that happens. <laughs> you you have already given your credit card details to the rental company. वो लोग काट के देंगे आपको पैसा. Exactly. Yeah. When when the email comes, then you are going. Oh my God! I wish I had taken the insurance. Yeah. 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 So. So nothing is coming back. Only email is coming. <laughs> yeah. ये अगर आंसर आप लोगों ने सही बताया कमेंट्स में तो you will give will get you a signed pillow from him. Done. <laughs> Rizraj, don't worry. The car is top star protected. We have to congratulate you on. Uh, The goat life. Thank you so much. I would like to say the original name, but uh, my <laughs> Hindi audience is also watching. Aadu Jeevitam. Aadu Jeevitam. Correct. Oh, this this is like a one month beard, no? Which one? Mine. Mine this. No, yours is like three days, four days. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're comparing it to the main character. Yeah. Oh no, no, that was like a one year beard. One year beard. Yeah. No? And then you lost like thirty one kilos. I did. I did actually. So first, though. first things first. Congratulations on the fifty crore worldwide, sir. As Thank of today, so much. <laughs> when the interview was going on. तब इनकी पिक्चर जो आप लोगों ने नहीं देखी तो थिएटर में जाके देखोगे ना तो मेरे को किसी ने बोला उनको पॉपकॉर्न खाने नहीं हो रहा था इट्स एन एक्सपीरियंस दैट फिल्म आई थिंक इट्स इट्स मोर ऑफ अ वेरी मेडिटेटिव जर्नी एंड इट विल कीप यू हुक्ड आई 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 हर्ड सो मेनी पीपल सेइंग दैट वी डोंट फील लाइक ड्रिंकिंग एनीथिंग व्हाइल सीइंग द फिल्म बिकॉज़ द कैरेक्टर इज सो थर्स्टी वी ऑलमोस्ट फील गिल्टी to be drinking yeah, your to be drinking our drink or water or whatever it oh, is shit. and uh, so that's the kind of experience the film is and absolute credit to the filmmaker blessy because yeah. i think he's pulled off a truly international piece of cinema and it's it's just uh, i mean it's there are films you watch and enjoy and then there are films that you watch and you experience and it's just just doesn't leave you mm. this uh, as immodest as it sounds because it's my own film yeah. i think is one of those kind of films yeah no sir this is one of those films i'll watch three times for each of the departments work <laughs> it's a study <laughs> thank you thank you so much <laughs> author called benjamin wrote yeah. a book based on the person's life mm-hmm. not an exact account but based on the person's life and the book became a smash hit back yeah. in 2008 yeah. Yeah. when it was published and uh, i 
personally know there are a lot of filmmakers not just in the south around the country had their eyes on that book yeah. thinking that oh man this could be india's castaway because Wait. any any actor would be like ha i'm ready to do this because it's so much yeah so as destiny would have it blessy managed to procure the rights and as fate would have it he thought i should play najib so we <laughs> set about making uh, set out to make the film in 2009 yeah but his vision about the film was so grand even back then that it was next to impossible to pull something like this off in malayalam at least wait to i mean remember back in 2009 ye pan india van india nahi tha you know nahi tha, nobody nahi tha. Was, <laughs> it was even before bahubali yeah yeah so yeah, we yeah. didn't know how to pull this off it took us 10 years till 2018 when we were finally able to start shoot and uh, we started shoot and we thought wow we are going to pull this off very smoothly and then covid 19 happens and the shoot gets suspended halfway through for 2 years oh shit then we go back to algeria to jordan we finish the film but you know what i mean it's been such a gratifying experience because even through all these these challenges it's a zero compromise film yeah when you see the film you'll understand that not one frame of that film is ha ah, chalega you know Oh really? Yeah, it is just a zero compromise film and complete credit to this maverick filmmaker called Blessy. I mean, he's got very little to prove. He's a multiple national award winner and one of Malayalam cinema's legends. But for him to stick with one film for 16 yeah. years and to see it through at this quality is just amazing. Yeah. Boss, <laughs> if you're watching this, which I'm sure you should be. But <laughs> I'll make sure he does, yeah. <laughs> Since your director also, can you just plug the battery in on that one? Sure, sure. This is तो है आपका ऐसा एंड रोल यस सर नो हिट रोल दैट्स इट लवली या खुद खुद कैमरा गीक हो आप या आई मीन आई आई लाइक सिनेमेटोग्राफी या आई आई एस अ फिल्म मेकर आई थिंक आउटसाइड ऑफ डायरेक्शन एंड एक्टिंग द वन क्राफ्ट दैट आई नो मोस्ट ऑफ मोस्ट अबाउट इज सिनेमेटोग्राफी सो देन आर यू लाइक अजय देवगन सर हैड कम एंड ही ही डायरेक्ट्स आल्सो ऑफ यस ही ही टोल्ड मी अबाउट हाउ ही ही हीज क्रिएटेड रिग्स which could fit into small area so you all you all are doing that kida kandi also of course i mean we the, so when you say you create a rig it's yeah. usually a setup for a camera to move within a particular prerequisite for Which, a shot that yeah, you want yeah so for the film that we are shooting right now we wanted to capture a scene which is like an attack on uh, on a truck okay but i wanted to i didn't want to show what is happening outside the truck i wanted the entire sequence to be conveyed by what is happening inside the truck with you know with the truck shaking sounds and everything and i wanted and you, it to be the face of the actor yeah the the fear yeah. on the actor's faces and all that so i we had this really nice rig made where how um, and the and the, the truck bed was constructed on a bed of springs okay and the rig was such that however much you shake the truck ah. the camera stays steady oh. and you keep moving you know inside and keep turning panning catching actors so that is a rig design that is born out of the prerequisite for that particular scene yeah so yeah. that depends on what you want to do with the camera and how you want to capture the scene but then good enough like yeah. there is there is equal kida kandi that you all are doing but ajay sir ajay, ajay. devgan sir i believe is a very very good technician i mean he's a great actor of course yeah. everyone knows that yeah. but i have seen uh, his directorials and i think he's a fantastic technician i i i'm actually quite excited uh, about his future as a filmmaker as well that's so true yeah Oh, he's very serious. He doesn't speak as much. Yeah. You also, uh, I have been told, is a introvert. You don't show up to parties a lot and like parties. I don't like. Yeah. Yeah, you don't like. Huh? No. <laughs> I mean, I, you're you're going somewhere where you have to act like you're enjoying it. And you have to be polite to everyone, and it's it's just not me. I, yeah. If, if I have a day off, I'd rather be home with my wife, daughter, and my dog. Correct. I yeah. totally agree. And thank you for doing this on a Sunday. <laughs> no, no, not at all. On the long weekend. Uh, like for for, for cinema, there is no weekend and there is no Sunday. You know. <laughs> But in premieres, are you a real person? Like, are you are you honest about your review? In terms of cinema, yeah, like when you go to premieres, like parties, chodo. But previews, oh, for, you must go. In, so I don't, I don't go exactly. So I don't go to these. Uh, I try and avoid when people invite you for screenings. Oh, you do? I do because I've had like really bad experiences where I've had to lie, and it was so evident I was lying. You know? <laughs> and then either they. feel like i am making a fool out of them yeah. or that i am an idiot so i just uh, yeah i mean i uh, but then you also have the other other side of it when you go watch a film for a screening and it's like amazing it's fantastic yeah uh, so that also happens yeah no nice i mean yeah. for me it's just like i ended up saying good very very honest truths <laughs> after screening <laughs> and then they stop calling me <laughs> yeah i mean see the thing is unfortunately when you're in the industry you yeah. know you and if you if you have like a a substantial uh, 
sort of influence in the industry yeah if it's bad you sort of up end up being polite and saying it's interesting you know yeah interesting <laughs> is a great word yeah i love interesting yeah so uh, we've driven down here to show you this beautiful view of mumbai yes so we'll quickly only get off to do that because uh, i think you're on a diet so we can't eat too much i no it's not about the diet i've already had my breakfast and, ah okay you know, yeah are you a, are you a foodie oh yeah, i'm a huge foodie i love food what what are your go to dishes and like In, i i love seafood ah. um, it's mostly seafood i you know when i was shooting for ravan Ravanan in South, Mani sir, Mani Ratnam yeah. sir. Yeah. Abhishek Bachchan once got me this butter garlic crab from Trishna. Yes. Holy cow! It was just, I it's a, it's that one dish that I remember. You know. It's beautiful. It is amazing. I mean, it's basically a heart attack on a plate, but it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. so much butter. It's floating in butter. Yeah, it is amazing. Abhishek uh, bought that, got that for me once. We were shooting in Malshej Ghat, and near Nasik, and Shh. then I love Jaihind. Lanchom. Yeah. Hmm. I love that in Bombay. What a lovely place that is. Yeah, I mean, so I, I, yeah, I, so I've, I've gone to all these places with, with, with my wife. Yeah. So yeah, Bombay is good food. It's great food. Yeah. It's great food. Like, if you like all of these, you should definitely try Ghazali also. Oh, I've been there. You've been there. Yes. I've been ah, there. what yeah. is this? Like, <laughs> then to your seafood, like total junkie. Yeah, I love seafood. Yeah, yeah. there is also uh, another place Pooja Hegde told us about, which I will, I will tell you. In Bombay, the name comes. Yeah, it's in Ville Parle. An area you will not assume it to be in, oh, okay. and it is just chumma. It's superb. Okay, this is my favorite view of Mumbai. I of course I've gotten a guest or two here only, but this is the skyline view. So we'll just quickly get that for you. Sure. And there is one gap where you see it from there. That's it. Oh, lovely. Yes. Lovely. Let's go. We'll talk about your romance story here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how difficult or uh, cathartic was your exercise? You know, it's 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 strange because we first became friends ah. and then best friends. That's and all. And then we are two really privileged people who fell in love with our best friend. Ah. So that's I it. think that's that's like a re real blessing, you know. Yeah. So I don't. If you ask me, which is that one day that you know you knew you 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 were going to get married to her? I don't know. You yeah. know, there's this process. But yeah, so I mean, other side of the bridge, uh, there's a road, and you go and you see Haji Ali on the right, and yes. all that. So all those spots uh, we we used to visit, and on the uh, there's a, there's a place, a fisherman's village. Yes, on, there is Varli. Yes, near near the base of the bridge. That Correct. is where I shot the climax for my debut directorial. Oh really? Yeah. So I shot there for almost 15 nights, not days, nights. And the people they were so good. They're I mean, very good. The without them, folks over there are. Yeah, without them we could not have done that. And they used to cook food from their homes and give. Also, oh, all ate from the local. Yeah, yeah, and lovely food also. And uh, it was very, very hot. And these really mm. nice folks there used to switch on air conditioning in their houses and uh, ask us to come and sit inside because Anyone. they would see us sweating and all that. I'd, I'll never forget that experience. About 15 nights with Mohan Lal, so I, I, I was shooting this really big action sequence. Ah. And uh, it, in the film, it was Diwali night. So I had these firecrackers going off and I'm sure none of them were able to sleep for 15 <laughs> nights. And yeah. not one frowning face. Like every evening when we used to go set up, she'd be like, oh, hello sir, come and they would have, they'll bring me tea and snacks from their houses. Just an unbelievable shooting experience. So that that's that holds a really special memory for me. And I was a debut director trying to pull off what was then the biggest ever film made in Malayalam. Yeah, 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 yeah. So a lot of pressure on me. Correct. And I, I I was so thankful that you know they had such nice people. Yeah. Thank you. Koli Janta jo dekh rahe hai, aap log ki fatari ho rahi hai. Yes. Aye, let's go back. <laughs> ये बताओ भाई कि कमर्शियल वर्सेस आर्ट ये भी रहा बिकॉज़ यू हैव डन अ मिक्स ऑफ नहीं है अभी देयर इज ओनली गुड वर्सेस बैड सिनेमा है ना वो हो गया ना अभी दैट्स ट्रू नहीं आई मीन द क्लासिक केस इज आर्ट जी विद देम द ग्रेट लाइफ इफ यू सी द फिल्म इट इज इट वुड फॉल अंडर द ओजी आर्ट आई मीन इट इज द द एंटायर फिल्म इन इट्स ग्रेन इज एवरीथिंग अगेंस्ट व्हाट यू वुड कॉल पॉपुलिस्ट मेनस्ट्रीम इंडियन सिनेमा करेक्ट बट लुक एट द नंबर्स Look at what it is doing at the box office. Yeah. So I think that's gone. There is no commercial art, artsy academic nothing. There is just good cinema and bad cinema. And of course, everyone is trying to be part of good cinema. Yeah. But yeah. there's no equation where it's foolproof. Like you hear a script and you run it through an equation and, and, and an algorithm and you know ah this is going to work. <laughs> that's not that. Yeah. Or ये नहीं हो सकता ना AI नहीं कर पाएगा ना cinema में ये. Never, never. I, I you see I'm that's what. So very soon there will be. 
uh, you know, like a like a conference hall where people will open laptops and say, "Oh, we have run the script through this uh, AI Model. AI software, yeah, yeah, yeah. and our 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 take on the thing is this." Not going to happen. Don't listen to them. <laughs> cinema's instinct. Yeah, you know, cinema cinema is not so much this; it's more this. That's true. Yeah, cinema is what it makes you feel, not what it makes you think. Hundred yeah. percent. I hundred percent agree. So, uh, Bollywood ki entry or Bollywood ka jo apna apka upar niche graph ra uska baat karna chahoge? Because जी बिल्कुल. Twenty ten there's some credit of police police. What is that? Like अरे ना ऐसा डबिंग फिल्म. That was dubbing film. Yeah, okay, that yeah. you'll find. Wow, hundreds. <laughs> yeah. Hundred हो गए ना आपके? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many films now you are at? One twenty. One twenty. Ah, yeah. there's casual. Yeah, that, yeah. With with the career span spanning twenty two uh, years. Yeah, I started when I was eighteen. Now I'm forty one. So twenty three. Twenty three years. Yeah. That's Kick ass, yeah. because uh, cutting hair, famous rena, famous banna cutting nahi hai. <laughs> cutting hair, uh, significant or relevant rena, <laughs> not hai. famous. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's so nice. Yeah, but when Aya came, yeah. wo aapka ekdam alag look hai, ekdam uh, stud boy, full, <laughs> matlab ripped out of. So uh, Aya was uh, so Aya was brought to me by Anurag Kashyap. Oh really? Yeah, he produced the film. Ha. Ah. So I was shooting for a Malayalam film, another Malayalam film in Malshej Ghat. When Anurag called me one day and said, "Would you be interested in reading a script?" Yeah. And I read it, and I thought it was the most wonderful take on a love story. I really haven't read in, or anything before or after that, mm. where it, where the story is about a woman who falls in love with the way a man smells. <laughs> you know, I thought it was just a beautiful hutke take on yeah. lust and sexuality and love and everything, and I loved loved it. And in all honesty, I had a lot of fun. I was very flattered being the object of Rani Mukherjee's affection, <laughs> and it is it is I think one of the very very few films where my acting was more about neck downwards yeah. than, than 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 upwards. That's true. And, and I know I I actually quite enjoyed the fact that oh somebody is asking me to like you know like work out and a six pack and a close up of my abs you know because I'm usually not associated with that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. आपका लेकिन मोनिकर कैसे नहीं आया एवरी एवरी साउथ इंडियन स्टार हैज अ मोनिकर कमिंग इन विद नहीं नॉट इन केरला नॉट इन मलयालम सिनेमा नॉट इन मलयालम सिनेमा नहीं 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 वी दैट्स फॉर नो नॉट इन मलयालम सिनेमा एंड स्पेशली नॉट विद द न्यू जनरेशन ऑफ द मलयालम सिनेमा वी गाइस आर यू आर कोल ऑफ दैट या आई मीन देयर इज मल्टीपल दैट कुड कम वर्सेटिलिटी गोट ना कुड कम इन एनीथिंग कुड बी बट आई मीन आई नो लाइक आई आल्सो वर्क इन तेलुगु सिनेमा एंड आई अंडरस्टैंड द कल्चर एंड द हेरिटेज देयर ऑफ एक्टर्स हैविंग लाइक अ टाइटल लाइक प्रभास इज रेबल स्टार एंड आई थिंक अल्लू अर्जुन इज आई कॉन्ट सम समथिंग लाइक सो एवरीबॉडी हैज लाइक अ मोनिकर देयर इट्स ओके बट इट्स दैट्स नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द हेरिटेज ऑफ मलयालम इंडस्ट्री एंड आई एम वेरी मच अ मलयालम एक्टर हां ट्रू we should truly be doing this i mean uh, folks who are who are angry because i'm not talking about cinema as much especially malayalam cinema hum log kochi mein kar lenge ye ji bilkul hai na yeah wahan I mean, par aapka ghar ghar bhi dekh sakte then we can truly Co- understand the kochi then i'll take you on a food trip yeah for yeah. sure super. i mean we could do we could do a food trip on the water like you know uh, <laughs> like take the boat out and you have a boat yeah i have a small boat nice yeah. <laughs> and like you take your guest often on the boat yeah Yeah. Hey, nice, Ray. Yeah. This is so like unique. <laughs> <laughs> also, so Kerala. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what I mean because in in Kerala, there's a lot of uh, back na- properties waters. by the water. Yeah. So having a boat and being able to take the boat out is not very uncommon mm. in Kerala. Okay, mm. so it's not yeah, like something true. that I have very special and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then your whole like uh, there is a Middle East presence also that you have. I'm sure. I mean, it is our biggest market for our industry. Correct. You know? uh, in fact, it is now. As big as our home market, really? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, for for Malayalam cinema right now, UAE GCC is as big as Kerala. Oh, love it! And of course, it's like when I when I go to Dubai, I feel like I've landed somewhere in Kerala. <laughs> apart, I mean, apart from the amazing infrastructure that Dubai has, that's true. Uh, from the airport, every second person you meet is talking to you in Malayalam. Yes, that's and, true. Uh, yeah, and then Kerala has a rich heritage of uh, people going to the UAE and GCC. Yeah, uh, and yeah. Uh, working there, and uh, you know. No, no, I also go there and eat at Paragon Calicut only. Oh, you so so Sumesh, <laughs> the owner of Paragon, is a very close friend. Oh wow. Yeah, so I, I mean, if you want Paragon food, even in Bombay, just let me know. Oh really? Yeah, I bring it for Kayose. Uh, Bumman's son. So. Oh damn! Yeah. No, no, I know Chef Vibin. Hi, Vibin. So I, I talk to him as soon as I land in Dubai. Yeah. So, Sumesh, see, I'm, I'm, I'm live endorsing you. I'm not paying bills for the next one year. Yeah. मेरा भी कुछ कर देना भाई महीने दो महीने का तो चलेगा इनके साथ. But that's the thing about uh, us Indians at this point in time in life. Our 
killing it everywhere no yeah, it's yeah. just is <laughs> amazing so i love that for our cinema also yeah that we have this uh, camaraderie coming through there is like a yeah i mean it's just an amazing time right i mean it's uh, we are no longer really I, i'm an actor from malayalam and i'm mm-hmm. very proud of it uh, but today i feel so at home doing a bade mia chote mia yeah. doing a salar tomorrow yeah. i might do a tamil film and it's all becoming one big fraternity and it's indian cinema yeah and imagine if we really get there where it's actually one big fraternity and we are all you know jamming and yeah, yeah. there's there's diffusion and migration and uh, happening between industries and talent and uh, thoughts being exchanged Correct. my god i mean we would be world beaters yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we would be world beaters dps dps were also shifting you know they were truly original the ogs of who would do something everywhere you mean dops of course yeah i mean the so usually it's the the technical skill finds yeah. it way more easier to travel Navigate, between industries yeah. because obviously they're behind the camera correct but now it's i think the credit should go to the audience more than anyone ah, else nah. mm. they have started looking at cinema that way कि भाई फर्क नहीं पड़ता हम लोग सब टाइटल पढ़ लेंगे हां एक्जेक्टली सो दे हैव स्टार्टेड लुकिंग एट दैट लाइक से फॉर एग्जांपल अ पुष्पा 2 या इज गोइंग टू बी अ हिंदी फिल्म फॉर द हिंदी मार्केट करेक्ट अ तेलुगु फिल्म फॉर द तेलुगु मार्केट करेक्ट अ मलयालम फिल्म फॉर द मलयालम मार्केट सो एंड दैट इज पॉसिबल बिकॉज़ पीपल आर प्रिपेयर्ड टू लुक एट सिनेमा दैट वे सो द क्रेडिट शुड फर्स्ट गो टू द ऑडियंस दे हैव इवॉल्वड आई थिंक दे आर लीडिंग सिनेमा टू वेयर वी शुड बी या 100% आई टोटली एग्री कम बैक टू द फूड बिट्स मुंबई के स्ट्रीट फूड क्या आपके पसंद है और क्या-क्या खाना पसंद करते हो स्ट्रीट फूड हां I love vada pav. Yeah. And uh, I was not a uh, like a one of those pani puri bhel puri person, but my wife is a big fan. She loves chaat. Mm. So Elko is like home for you. Yeah, so every time we are in Bombay, she has to go to Elko. And uh, I have now been there so many times. Now I think I've developed a taste for it. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. But is there is there like a type of pani puri you like the one with like garam chana or vatana or? Arey, that I don't know. Yeah, she gets me the stuff. And That's it. Yeah, and uh, what is that with the with the with the curd? Uh, Dahi puri. Ha. Ha. Dahi papdi. Dahi papdi. Dahi papdi. Yeah, that's yeah, yum. Yeah. That's yum. That's super. That's yeah. super. It's also refreshing. Love, lovely. So, ye uh, Mumbai ke slang koi apko peculiar lagte hain jo? Ha, no, I mean it's. Uh, most of the mumbai slang i know is rohit sharma on the stump mic so <laughs> <laughs> so i'm a big fan of rohit sharma so <laughs> yeah they mute half of that stuff yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> good for us otherwise can't we could nick like a public yeah so like have you picked up any word is there a word that you can recollect i can but i can't say it you know <laughs> ah one of those okay okay no problem yeah. no problem but there, there there's a lot of like interesting stuff like they say signal girega हाँ आगे सिग्नल गिरेगा ये सिग्नल गिर गया या सो दैट्स इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज़ दैट इज़ एक्चुअली द ऑलमोस्ट एक्सेक्ट ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ़ व्हाट यू वुड सेइंग मलयालम ओके हाउ कम लाइक अब अच्छा यू नो लाइक यू नो ग्रीन लाइट विल कम यू नो इट्स इट्स या इट्स अ कलोकियल मलयालम आल्सो व्हेन ट्रांसलेटेड very chaste malayalam no. like proper malayalam but my hometown malayalam is very mm. trivandrum slangish people watching this from trivandrum i'm in the in the comments huh? yeah, yeah please just just, just, oh, just let them know <laughs> <laughs> difference one yeah, line one line yeah so every time i'm with a friend uh, who's from trivandrum subconsciously i i switch to that slang okay, does, that happen, does, normal, that, does that happen to you bombay guys also yeah uh, of course so, of course of course so yeah that how chi ga bolte re bolli ga so that you so yeah so every time i meet a friend from trivandrum it's immediately hey endre hey you know so that that happens yeah <laughs> There is. Haven't you seen those Dubai memes in which they're saying so much in Malayalam that people are just like, "Oh my God, what is being said?" <laughs> But not surprising. Yeah. <laughs> nice. But it yeah. is in essence the street speak, right? That, Correct. That truly makes a city for me. Yeah. And also, that's that's actually what the language is about. It's not what is written in print in the textbook. It's how the language is used by people in different topographies that makes it what it is. Yeah. So, uh, and Kerala also has got this wonderful heritage of you traveling from one end of the state to the other, you'll listen to the same language in ten different versions of it. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And same with Telugu also, Andhra, Telangana, Rayalseema, Tirupati. Yeah, I can imagine. All, yes. Oh, very, yes. very, yeah. very different kind yeah. of zones it goes into. But uh, coming to Ravanam, then after that was there a sale up because that was a cathartic one, no? You mean Ravanan? Yes, Ravanan. With, with, with Mani Ratnam sir. Yes, yes. Yeah, so I mean, it was it was like a big certificate of uh, you know 
approval for me. Mm. I was what 24 or 25 something when yeah. Manisha offered me that film and I played one of the central protagonists in the film. That's true. And I, I remember I was on set on day one and most of the crew were from Hindi. Yeah. yeah because it was also being shot in Hindi. Correct. And all of them knew, obviously, who Aishwarya Rai was. All yeah. of them knew Abhishek Bachchan. All of them knew Vikram, because yes, he was a Tamil yes, superstar. Yes. None of them knew who this boy is. They were like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I, I could hear them in Hasha saying, I don't know, man, must be good because Maniratnam is cast him. You know? so, <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it was fun, but uh, I was like this little lamb on the set. And uh, it was a huge learning curve for me. It was a huge learning curve for me. And uh, it meant so much when Manisa saw RDG with him. Yeah, and, and he called you recently, no? He called me and spoke to me and you know, I it, I, it really moved me because uh, I, I'm sure he'll never admit it and I'm sure he'll never realize that how much I I learned as an actor and a filmmaker with that one film that I did with Mani Ratnam sir. Ah. And for him to call me after seeing the film and you know, I was I was actually sitting in another preview show of RDG with him and he messaged me saying, Prithvi, I need to talk to you now. And I actually walked out of the theatre and I called him. And he spoke to me for, for a long while and it was really, really very moving for me. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I think it's a, that moments like that, that you that you sort of punctuate in your career, you know. Yeah. Uh, more than all the blockbusters or the hits or the… Numbers. The, yeah, yeah, numbers. It's moments like this that you will forever remember. What what do you pick from his directorial style? Would you would you ever kind of summarize that I am a summation of these five average directors? Uh, one thing I, I, I would pick out and say about Mani Ratnam sir is when you are making a film and you think of a shot and immediately the, you your subconscious is telling you that's just too tough to pull off it's just find another way <laughs> probably that tough way is a good way yeah with Mani Ratnam sir it's just unbelievable because he firstly he he looks at everything in a very different perspective yeah especially when he shoots uh, intimacy and love hmm. he's got this really amazing perspective on it and if there is a shot that he wants to pull off and it is tough, he never shies away from the filmmaking challenge of it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Also because a man is so good with That's being true. able to pull off correct, stuff like that. Correct. Uh, so that is one lesson I learned from him. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I I would at some point love to do a film with Mani sir where it's a m very small film. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like about the actors because the film that I got to do with him was this giant film. Yeah, you know, it's just, everything is massive. Yeah, so I would love to do like a like a Mauniragam or Nale Paide kind of a Ay film. Yo, that's yeah. just like yeah. next level goodness. Yeah. So, uh, this whole thing about a villain wearing a mask in Bade Mia, Chote Mia and uh -huh. uh, you know, does that not make you insecure or feel worried as an actor because essentially screen time is barely anything, no? Not at all. So, I, so firstly, I have to tell you every single shot of that person wearing the mask is me. Yeah, it's you. Yeah. It is not somebody else wearing the mask and acting like Prithviraj. Yeah. It is me. Uh, it is Ali was so, I'll t so I have to tell you the story. Ali was so particular that I was shooting in Manali. Mm. Okay. And they, he wanted to shoot uh, my uh, intro sequence in the film, which was to be shot in Glen Nevis in Scotland. Oh. And they got permission to shoot that at one particular day. And that entire sequence has me in a mask. Okay. I, f I drove from Manali to Kulu, took a flight from Kulu to Delhi, Delhi to Bombay, Bombay to Dubai, Dubai to Edinburgh, drove oh from Edinburgh to Glen Nevis, shot for six hours fully in the mask, and took the entire road back to Manali. Oh shit! Because Ali was so particular that every single shot, even with the mask on, will have to be done by me. And I'm so glad because I thought it was a challenge as an actor. Yeah. To be having, it's a stoic mask, right? There is no e expression. That's All true. you can see, are if you look eyes? carefully, are the eyes. Yeah. And then there's the body language and how you use your voice. Yeah. In that, how do you instill fear? How do you instill a sense of doom? I thought that was a very nice challenge for me as an actor. And the interval of the film is when this guy takes his mask off. Yeah. And then you know what happened when in the second half. And it's just Shit. a really nice story. Which is amazing. I, see, it already sounds like I have the cool bits in the film, right? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> you won. Yeah. That's that's good. But like, what is the process? How do you do that deepening of the voice? Like, can you can you do me a a small dubbing, pre-dubbing. Pre Everyone thing. thought it is some voice yeah. software. That's what? Till I went up on stage and said, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it there. You just, that's the acting bit. Nah? Yeah, like, so it, there's nothing done to my voice. 
uh, it is just Ali and me decided after going through multiple options that yeah we'll we'll try and stick to this. Yeah. And the voice change is not just because we want the character to sound cool or sound mm. menacing. Mm-hmm. There is a story to it. Something has happened to him that changed we'll know. his voice. Theater man. Yeah. He something has happened to him where he now has to hide his face and something has happened to his voice yeah. which you will know on the 10th of april yeah. yes of course yeah but jitters aate hain abhi bhi film se pehle i kind of get disassociated with it okay. i give my 120% in making a film yeah. i give it my all in promoting a film but once i'm done with it i walk away okay. because uh, i have by now learned that it is very important to treat your success and your failure the same way yeah there are lessons to be learned from both learn them do not miss them learn them and walk away okay so on 10th of april whatever happens that's it 11th done. of april is still the same day for me okay yeah. i mean reviews reviews won't bother i mean there are lessons to be learned yeah make sure you know what the people what people think of your film mm. make sure you are in touch with reality Fair. but pick out those lessons learn them and then walk away Fair because enough. it's very easy to be stuck in celebration or in misery Yeah. For way too longer than ideal. <laughs> no, I yeah. I completely agree. Couldn't couldn't agree more. But um, we have one promise from you for doing it in Kochi, and then Absolutely. when you go to Dubai, you can do it with our <coughs> Dubai host to run Vijay Singh Sangha. Now. Oh my so. God, you are like an international racket. Yeah, yeah. No? full like full <laughs> GCC covered, sir. My God, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Kochi, so we should definitely do. Hundred yeah. percent. Where where is Pooja Entertainment? This is there, the one, right? Yeah, I have to, I have yet to finish my dubbing. I'm still have to go and do the pralay thing. Yeah, mm. so <laughs> we'll we'll get we'll take half a second uh, pause. Can uh-huh. you give me a longer line where we can truly have the audience see you do the okay. change? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pralay ane wala hai. Ek aisa pralay jo bahut vartman aur bhavishya ko hamesha ke liye badal dega. Ek aisa pralay jo achai aur burai ki jang ko हमेशा के लिए खत्म कर देगा man you're shivering like <laughs> when you're saying that you're you're actually channeling some anger that is there i could tell like, i'm like why both baybit kar rahe hain <laughs> hey, thank you so much for being on the mummy journey kaisa laga aapko not at all it's been fun it's been a privilege i look forward to seeing more of your shows thank you and sir. i'll wait for the kochi episode to happen yes and the dubai one if yes. you okay so 1000 yes. comments for kochi and 1000 comments for dubai <laughs> and this sign goes to the person who can go back to the protection ke funde segment ha huh. and look back at what you should do when you're renting vehicles abroad yes and protecting yourselves and your family that's traveling with you is that just that simple okay thank you